Well, our team name was uh, Chubby Pandas. Uh, so Chubby stands for CHBE, which is Chemical and Biomolecular Engineering. So it's just a play on words and we're based in the Sichuan Basin in China. We had to basically use a raw shale gas feed and produce a chemical plant using that, which was self-sustainable, but at the same time also was environmentally friendly and also gave back to the community at large in the area. We're trying to find a solution that utilizes all the incoming gas, water, and like the stuff in the water, the, sal the salts, the chemicals, and try to like produce as least waste as possible. So it's, it's a two-part plant. One, it's a chemical plant um, to produce chemicals to be beneficial to the people in the Sichuan Basin. The chemicals that we're producing are fuel methanol, hydrogen, and carbon disulfide and sulfur. And so we decided on those chemicals for a variety of reasons. First of all, fuel methanol. Uh, the Chinese government right now is in development to produce vehicles that run completely on fuel methanol and no gasoline at all. So uh, this is again, gasoline produces a lot more emissions than fuel methanol. And so it, they're thinking that in about three years that these vehicles will be on the road. And so that's about the construction time for our plant. There are many countries around the world that are trying to find this uh, the sustainable solution in terms of energy. And the key thing about shale gas, however, is the, the potential harms that may come from hydraulic fracturing and its production. And so because of that, it's extremely important that we go about trying to extract the shale gas in a responsible and environmentally friendly manner while also being able to, of course, harness it for use in energy production for our world. It's being able to bring everything that you learned since freshman year, since freshman year chemical engineering classes and putting it all together, you know, from the process design, um, learning, you know, how, how the energy works to like the business aspects of things, because that's really important in a project like this. Um, when we are talking about a multi-billion dollar plant, you really have to know the numbers well. What are the revenues? What are the operating costs? What are the capital costs in order to be able to sell it?